Hey consigners, Kendra here. We are finishing up, sort of, setting up. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough video to show you what to expect at consigner drop-off on Monday and Tuesday. Um, just a quick reminder that drop-off appointments are required. I put the link to make an appointment in this post. It's also in the announcements of this group and on the website. And um, so I'm gonna take you for a walk around, show you our new floor plan and walk through our drop-off procedures so that you know what you're doing for drop-off this week. Um, so let me just turn you guys around. So I am facing the parking lot right now. So when you come in, there's a, I'm not gonna walk outside cause it's dark, but there's a, the entrance to the parking lot is in the corner. So you're gonna kind of come around this side of the building and look for this big garage door over here that I'm standing under. Okay, so you're gonna come in the garage door and when you arrive, you're going to look for our welcome desk, which looks like this. So you're going to first check in at the welcome desk. Um, someone will be here to check you in, and you're basically just going to show your drop-off appointment confirmation email to them. You can show it on your phone, or you can print it out, whatever you prefer. And you're going to get your pre-sale pass at that time. Then you're going to take either a rolling rack, which we have a bunch of them here, or a push cart, they're folded down, but we'll fold those up for tomorrow. So you're gonna take a push cart or a rolling rack back out to your car and bring all your stuff in. Then we have a new floor plan. So just to orient you guys a little bit, there are two turfs on this side. So we'll call it front field and back field. And then the turf on this side is just one long skinny field. So if we're facing the venue basically the long skinny turf is all of the clothing and shoes and that's it so this should be pretty easy to remember i feel like this is a like almost our easiest floor plan ever so this turf all clothing all shoes the front turf here all large items that's it the back turf everything else okay so that should be pretty easy to remember i feel like um so let me show you first of all the large item drop-off area. So this front turf is where you're gonna go if you have large items. You can print the large item claim tickets yourself at home. We do have a few of them here, and of course I'm not prepared. Let me grab one to just show you guys what they look like. Um, ours are yellow, yours you can just print on white cardstock, the same paper that you use to print your tags. Um, but this is what they look like. Yours will just be white here. And basically you're gonna take your tag that you print out from the tagging website with the barcode on it. You're gonna cut it across where the safety pin is and the dotted line on the tag. And then you're gonna staple the top part of the tag to the top of the claim ticket and the bottom part to the bottom of the claim ticket and then attach the whole claim ticket to your large item. Um, and so you can do that yourself at home. There is a graphic tutorial on the complete consigner guide and in the announcements of this group um but you can so you can do that on your own um we also have some large item claim tickets here so if you don't want to print them um at home you can fill them out when you get here um, it just saves you time to do it at home we have one zone drop off here it's the car seat and stroller accessories because we keep them with the car seats and then you could walk straight through the middle of this turf to get to the zones back there i'm just going to walk around this way so i can show you guys the clothing really quickly um so let me come this way really quick so if you want to go straight to the clothing and shoes you can come this way and i don't have all my signs up yet so we usually do that um in the morning but to so all the boys clothing is going to be at the front here going all the way back to here girls clothing will be in the back boys shoes are across from the boys clothing girls shoes are in the back back there across from the girls clothing um, if you have accessories, they're going to go in the baskets and on the grid walls, if you can see them there, on the ends of the clothing racks. You're going to put them on the end of the aisle that corresponds with the closest size that you think the accessory would go with. Okay. Um, juniors, we took the juniors off of our clothing racks. Um, 
and we're gonna put them on these Z racks around the perimeter. So boys junior sizes will be here, girls junior sizes will be down there. You can kind of see the orange racks. Um, we'll add more racks if we need them, depending on how much we get. But basically each rack will be a category. So this might be like juniors, boys, shorts, and then we'll put sizers on there, small, medium, large, extra large. And then the next one might be like juniors, boys, bathing suits or whatever. Same thing for the girls, um, the girls juniors as well. When you drop off clothing, you're gonna look for the color signs. We'll use blue signs for boys, uh, pink signs for girls. And so the signs, our signs are whole numbers. So it goes um, newborn, three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. So if you have something that is a range of sizes, like nine to 12 months, you're gonna put it under the smaller number. So it would go under nine months. So you're gonna to come to your appropriate size and gender in the clothing, and then new this sale, you're also going to put your clothing out by consigner letter. So if you look at your tags, you have a consigner number on there. It's like, it's alphanumeric. So it's like A123 ABC. So in that case, my consigner number starts with A. So I would go to boys, 2T, and then put my items behind the A. We are gonna have the A through Zs on the bottom, and the top so first we're going to drop off to the bottom so we're not going to be putting anything on the top clothing rack until the bottom is full and then you can once that's full then you're going to drop off to the top after that so that's to help with the stability of our racks because this turf this new turf that they put in is really really squishy and um, it makes our racks wobbly especially when they're like really heavy so if we weigh down the bottom first it makes them less top heavy um, and also the a through z's are to spread out all the clothing because basically usually everybody wants to put their stuff like right next to the sign so this will kind of force everyone to spread all their items out a little bit which will help with stability um, so that's clothing that's the new clothing procedure accessories like i said go on the ends near the corresponding size of clothing shoes we don't have our signs out yet but what you're going to do so these baskets will have a sign with a size on them you're going to put your shoes in the laundry basket and then we will inspect them and put them out on the shelf for you so shoes go in the laundry baskets um let me walk back here i'll show you the rest of the zones i feel like i hope you guys like this new floor plan so we basically push the racks all the way against the walls but our i our um rows are pretty short so it doesn't feel like it's very far to walk but it gave us a ton of extra space um that and uh, moving the juniors off of our racks and onto the rolling racks so girls shoes are down there so it feels like everything's a lot more spread out um Okay, so back here, you can get to this back turf either using the side doors coming from that skinny turf over there, or you could have walked, like I showed you before, straight through that big front turf where the large item drop off was. So when you come on to this back turf, basically everything else is back here. So everything that's not clothing, shoes, accessories, or large items. So Mommy Mart is right here at the front. Books are over here. We have all the book bins labeled. Chunky books, soft books, I spy look and find picture books, religious and holiday, etc. So you're gonna put them into the appropriate category. Then we'll put them out on the bookshelves. Note that we're no longer accepting maternity and parenting books. Um, infant and toddler toys here boys toys if you have a gender neutral toy just pick boy or girls and we'll find a spot for it um, legos blocks and building sporting goods seasonal so this would be for like easter fourth of july um, kids themed seasonal would go here also um, seasonal would be like swim accessories floaties things like that puzzles here stuffed animals and we have new zone signs so i tried to put on the sign from the acceptable items what we do not accept from that category as a reminder so hopefully that's helpful so stuffed animals um oh i have to put a rolling rack here so there's going to be a rolling rack here for dress up um, remember costumes we're not taking halloween costumes but we will we will take dress up dress up and maternity will go here we'll put them out on the racks for you dance wear will go here 
And then this side, I'll put a rolling rack here, and this will be for backpacks, diaper bags, carriers. What am I forgetting? Backpacks, diaper bags, carriers. Hmm. Oh, and blankets, because blankets are going to go back there. Um, DVDs, and note we're no longer accepting like teen DVDs. That was new this season, so only infant, toddler, and kids, like Disney, Nickelodeon, that kind of thing. Um, girls' toys games crafts we're only accepting box crafts now because crafts always looks like a hot mess room decor um, reminder about no crib bumpers no wedges no inclined sleepers um breastfeeding supplies and maternity accessories this is where you would put um like breast pump accessories belly bands like maternity belly bands that kind of thing safety and baby supplies so this is like home safety and diapering as well as boppies bumpos shopping cart covers etc bathing all the bathroom stuff and feeding and i think that's it did i forget anything oh i think i forgot to show you electronics is all the way up in the lobby right near where you drop off. Oh, and I forgot to show you sanitation, so I'll walk back up there. Um, so do you guys have any questions? I hope that was helpful. I feel like our floor plan is a little bit easier this time. Again, the long skinny turf on the side is all clothing, shoes, and accessories. You're gonna put your clothing out by size, gender, and consigner number um, or consigner letter. And then shoes you put in the laundry baskets and accessories you put on the ends large items you can do the diy claim ticket to save yourself time we have some here everything else goes in the drop zones in the back um we moved our registers back i don't know if you guys can see that over there so that will be better and we are back to having a decision zone and a hold area which is nice so hopefully this rack configuration works because it saved us a lot of space. Um, electronics is right here. Up at the front, we'll set up the cage tomorrow. And sanitation is up here, right where you check in on the opposite of this welcome table. So sanitation is here. So it's a Pennsylvania state law for resale. Anything with polyfill stuffing has to be sanitized. So except for stuffed animals. So like pillows, comforters, sleeping bags, even like car seats and play mats and strollers have a little bit of padding in them. They have to be sanitized. Um, so basically you're gonna take the sprayer, pump this thingy right here, spray it. I don't know if it's turned on. Oh yeah, it is. Spray it with a light mist and then use the tagging gun to attach the sanitation tag to it. Um, Security area, if you have a high value item that you would like to attach a security tag, you can do so here. And then we'll have a basket here for high value shoes. Um, if you have shoes that, <coughs> excuse me, that you would like, oh, the spray, stinky. Um, if you have shoes that you would like in our um, high value area, you can put them here. Basically what we do is after drop off, we separate the shoes. So make sure you put both shoes in there as well as the tag and we put one shoe behind the registers and one shoe out on the floor um, so that's how that works so make your appointment comment if you guys have any questions i'll try to check back and i'm going to get putting up the rest of my signs and we'll see you guys monday and tuesday bye